Hey folks, it's Dave back here in Studio C with another on-deck baseball video. Uh, today I want to show you my new setup, uh, a little bit about some gameplay, and also a couple things I've already done to enhance my game playing here with on-deck baseball. So the first thing you'll see is my new setup. I decided to put the players in a card holder here instead of having them on the table. Just makes it a little easier to get at, and they, they, it looks really nice too. Um, but the, the big reason I did this is that um, I'm a very lazy setup guy when it comes to baseball. So what you're supposed to do here, if we look at the chart, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put in the player in his position, and then you put in all his attributes, you know, his hitting, uh, if he's a lefty or righty, the fielding, the arm, you know, the speed, and so on. So you're supposed to fill in all this for every player for both teams before you start the game. I'm a lazy baseball guy, admittedly, so I tend to not do that. I tend to, you know, rather grab the card. So if I need to know his fielding rating, I come over here, okay, he's a minus five here at second base, you know. If I need to see this guy's speed, I say, okay, Michael Nelson, his speed is a four. So I tend to grab the card because, you know, quite honestly, you can fill this out, but you, you never really use all the attributes in a game usually, so a lot of times... It's just a lot of extra time and setup, and I would rather play than setup. So that's just me being lazy. So now, if I need to check somebody, so I got, you know, Howard Hardcore Holly over here. If I need to check if he's going to get to a base, I got his card right here, right in the, uh, the rack, and I can get at it and put it back nice and easy. So I just have it set up in my batting order. So if this was my batting order, it, it is not. Obviously, there's a picture here, but what I'm saying is that if my batting order, you know, was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's how I would set it up. Um, so that's how I have the setup here. Now, as far as gameplay goes, how this works is you have a now in basic mode. I only play basic again. I'm not don't know much about the lefty righty splits, but the lefty righty splits are in here if you want it, and they're on both the pitcher card and the batter card. The big number here is basic mode, and that is Dave mode. Okay, so Dave plays basic baseball mode is what I do. So the idea is that you look at the four. And you look at the minus three and you combine them and that gives you a positive one. All right. So the first roll is the confrontation roll between the pitcher and the batter. It's kind of a 50-50 split with the pitcher. You read off the pitcher's card on a one to five and the batter's card on a six to ten. In this case, we're adding one because the batter's a little bit better. So, so that should be a, a better chance to, to get um, the reading from the, the hitter's card if you follow that. So let's roll our dice. So a four. So a four plus one is five. So in this case, we would still read off the pitcher's card. Where this comes into play is if I roll the five, that would normally be pitcher's card. However, since the batter has the one up on the pitcher, this five now becomes a six, and we would roll off the batter's card. Now what I mean rolling off the batter's card is on the back of each card here, so I got the pitcher and the batter, we have a grid, a 10 by 10 grid, and that's our... That's our batting in our hitting grid, okay? So, after we determine which card we're going to read from, so we're going to read from the batter's card, let's say. I'm going to roll two 10-sided dice. I got a, a 9 and a 1. So I come over here, a 9 and a 1, and that's going to be a fly ball, and that's going to be an out. So then you roll another dice. So that's a 3, and you come over here, under F, a 3. And it looks like it's a seven, so that'd be a fly ball to left field. So this guy flies out. So that's kind of how an at bat goes. Now, what I've done to speed things up is I try to memorize the pitcher codex. It's easier in basic mode than it is if you're playing in advance. So he's a minus three. So I don't need the front of the card anymore. I just need the the grid over here if it's reading off the pitcher's card. So he's a minus three. So when the batters come up. I look, okay, so he's a four, so it's a positive one. So I can flip this right over. I've introduced two more dice into this. Now, my dice are only zero to nine. They're not the nice one to ten dice that you get with the game. But what I've done here is introduce two other dice to make the at-bats go a little quicker. The white is going to be my confrontation roll, zero being ten. So this will be the... Again, so I roll a 9 plus 1, it's a 10, we read from the battle scout. So white is my confrontation roll. The red and the blue 
are the same. The red and the blue will be from the chart, red and blue. The green will be where the ball goes. So even if you read off the pitcher's card, okay, so you're going to come over here, let's just say you read off the pitcher's card, and you get a 110. It's an L, it's a line drive, okay? I could come over here and say a line drive, and I'm going to go L, and L9 is a uh, line drive to three. So that would be line drive to first base over here. So it's kind of with nobody on base, it's more cosmetic than anything, but I like to see where the hit goes, okay? And uh, anything in the outfield, I read off of column F, okay, because that's all your outfield chart. So let's just say there was um, a single. Okay, guy hit the single, I roll my dice here, that's a one. Now off of this guy's chart here, it's a nine, so that's a single to right field. So I've added in these two dice to kind of speed things up and to make it easier for me to see where the ball goes. So, so again, let, let's roll here and just see what happens at this at bat. So knowing that it's a plus one for the batter, so we roll. Okay, it's a five. Again, that would normally be pitcher's card, but because we add the one, it's a six, so it goes to the batter's card. We look at the two dice here, so that's a 65. A 65 over here, that's a G+. Plus. Now, if you were playing advanced, that would lead to something else. But in basic mode, that's just a ground ball. So I come over here to ground ball, and a 10 is a 1. So, so that's a ground ball, back to the pitcher, and he is out. And that's kind of how gameplay goes. We'll do one other batter here, so he is out. And we'll take Sharky now. Now Sharky's a three in basic mode. Now remember, the pitcher is a minus three. So this is going to be an even roll. So there's going to be no adjustment on the white. So let's roll here. So a six. A six will be from the batter's card. We got a one and a two. So a one and a two. That's going to be a strikeout. And the green die does not come into play because it's a strikeout. So this guy strikes out. And that's kind of how uh, some gameplay goes. Again, there's different readings that you can get. I mean, you can get uh, errors, you can get, um, there's a, a little gray dot there under 8.5. That's kind of a, um, a situation play where you bring up a whole new set of charts. It's kind of fun. But uh, uh, again, you get your, your, your strikeouts, your ground balls, your flyouts, you know, the whole bit. Again, the higher the number, the usually better it is for the batter. Even on the pitcher's card, as you can see, the higher the number, the better it is for the batter. So anyway, so that's another quick look at On Deck Baseball. My new setup, a couple of ways I'm playing by adding a couple of dice to speed things up. And um, really enjoying this game. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.